Hey, it's John with Off Grid Net Mobile Solar. I wanted to show you a little trick I do with the GrowWatt SPS 3000. Uh, whenever you are, when you have these inverters completely fired up um, and the switch here is in the on position, both the inverter and the MPP charge controller are running. And you have about, you have a pretty good standby consumption when you're doing that. Uh, so you want to make sure you have some sun. But let's say it's in the evening, you're not, and you're going to bed and you don't want to run the AC side of things. You can flip this off and shut the inverter off so the standby consumption lowers. Uh, or if you're in here and the sun's up, you can do the same thing. And it'll allow just the charge controller side to work. And what will happen when the sun goes down, it'll also completely shut down the inverter. Um, once it senses there's no voltage coming in, it'll just completely shut it off. And in the morning when the sun comes up, it will wake up the inverter. But if you've got this installed, like I do in this camper here, it's really the only way to get there and turn that plug on and off, turn this on and off, is, is to open the bed and, and do that. And that's, that's a pain. So what I did was I made a wire with the same spade connectors and I ran it over here and it looks a little messy because I've, I put heat shrink all around it and then I've also wrapped some electrical tape around it along with putting it around the edges of the hole just to give it some protection some rub con connection and then I ran that over here and I just moved the switch to the side of the bed this will allow my customer to be able to turn the inverter on and off without having to pull everything up so turn it off and I just kind of put this in the same orientation as a light switch or turn it back on and that just makes it very easy for my customer to turn that off at night when he's ready to go to bed and he doesn't need any AC power.